first sale of the half century follows at 7.30. It's the quiz of the week. <laughs> yes, it's the sale of the half century. And on off tonight, this lovely pair of accessories. These choice Diamante simulated imitation pearl brooches in the shops at £82 and on offer for just £8. A £1,000 Riviera holiday for two on offer for just £10. Now let's meet the man with the questions, Nicholas Parcel. <laughs> Welcome indeed to Sale of the Half Century. So right away, let's meet our first contestant. She is a lady, so she tells me, and she is an authoress. She's just written a book called How to Make Your Marriage Work, and she's now writing the sequel, How to Make Your Husband Work. She is Teresa Tingle. <laughs> what, a, what a delightful creature she is, to be sure. <coughs> Our lone male guest this evening uh, comes from Belfast, and he is married, he has 17 children, and his hobby is bell ringing. And he is Mr. Jack Reinyman. And ladies and gentlemen, last but by no means least, a delightful young lady with the delightful name of Melanie. It's a very, it's a very apt day, isn't it? Absolutely describes them to a t uh, describes her. <laughs> they are melon. She is a melon. She's a Britain girl. <laughs> and she tells me that her hobby is calisthenics, which means that twice a week she strips for Jim. <laughs> Lucky Jim, how I envy him. Although in actual fact, I believe she doesn't. You don't have a boyfriend, do you, my dear? <laughs> If you won the holiday for two, another man would have to sort of come along with you, wouldn't I? Wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, she is actually, by profession, a cookery expert. Now, the first question is, what is the principal ingredient of vol au vent? Pastry. Oh, well done, Melanie. <laughs> Not too well done, though. Fancy <laughs> you getting that one right. Well done. Now, the next one, what is a Welsh rarebit? <laughs> Cheese on toast. Oh, right again, fancy. Yeah. Although, I, of course, I have heard of a Welsh rarebit referred to as a virgin from Cardiff. But um, <laughs> we won't dwell on that, will we? Why do you keep asking cookery questions? <laughs> Give us a chance, too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is a wooden wedding? Ten years. Two poles getting married. <laughs> What a pity, what a pity. Well, now then, let's see what we have on our instant sale, shall we? This easily assembled kitchen table unit comes with all parts into life. Hardy lime wood, ready for painting in whatever your favorite color happens to be. Value 37 pounds. No offers for that? Oh. You do surprise me. Now then, the questions now go to three pounds. And what is the name of this tune that Peter Fenchurch is playing? The Cobbler's Song? <laughs> no, it's not the Cobbler's Song, dear. No. After the Ball? <laughs> You're sort of half right. <laughs> not, not, not quite, no. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Are you boasting again? <laughs> no, it is, of course, Colonel Bogey. Well, now then, let's have a look and see what we have on offer in the open sale. This radiogram with a supply of hit records, including Victor Sylvester at Nashville, Bogey's Motorworks Band at Ronnie Scott's, and Mrs. Mills plays Mendelssohn and loses. Goes for a song at one pound. 
this garbage disposal unit, guaranteed for one year or double your garbage back, five pounds. <laughs> These are just a few of the items on the open sale tonight. And, and no offers. Well, I never. Well, the questions now go up to five pounds. Here we are. If you don't leave my wife alone, I shall... <laughs> <laughs> sign his name, so I don't... <laughs> what is the difference between a vitamin and a hormone? <laughs> no? No answer. Thought you'd have got that one. You can't make a vitamin. <laughs> <laughs> what has two legs and flies? Yes, Melanie? Ah, oh, I thought you'd have got that one. Two legs and flies. <laughs> a wheelbarrow full of manure. <laughs> Well, never mind. What is the difference between a pint of beer and a pea? <laughs> they all guessed at the same time. You all know the answer. 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. Well, now then, to be fair to you all, I'm going to give you all one simple question and you answer them separately. We must be fair, scrupulously fair. And the, uh, this is a name. It begins W-E-M, Melanie, and it ends L-E-Y. There was one letter missing and the cup final was held there last year. No coaching from the audience, please. <laughs> Wembley. Well done. Oh, isn't that nice? I'm so glad. And now, a nice, easy one for you. Uh, Teresa, could you tell me, please, how many people attended the cup final there last year? <laughs> About 90,000. 90,002. <laughs> so, five pounds away. <laughs> and for five pounds, Jackie, can you tell me their names and addresses? <laughs> No, I couldn't. And that's the correct answer to your question. Yes. <clears throat> Could you tell me what is the difference between and... <laughs> oh, well done, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll soon be having that lovely holiday for two, won't we? Won't you? <laughs> Well, it seems that, oh, Melanie is in the lead now, and it seems that there's just one more question to go, and if Melanie, if nobody else gets this question right, then Melanie, you are, not, you are uh, going to have that lovely holiday for two. Well, here is the final question, then. What is the Bezarabian equivalent of the patois or slang word Yasif El Achim? Jabrigalubru. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zabragalu bro. <laughs> what a pity. So lovely, Melanie. Will you join me now for the sale of the? A bigger pardon. There's a description. Apparently, well, would you would you look it up in the Encyclopedia Britannica <laughs> and see what I wrote? <laughs> you did. And it is right, I see. Well then, Jack Reineman, will you now join me for the... Come on! Will you join me for the sale of the half-century? Come on! <laughs> Here are all the lovely... <laughs> Here, as you can see, Jackie, we have the... Don't get in the way. We have this uh, two-piece... Uh, toiletry set with, of course, as you can see, the gold-plated seat. <laughs> what a way to go. <clears throat> Over here, come on. Over here. Was that you? <laughs> Not while the train is standing at a station. <laughs> we have this lovely clock which goes for eight days without winding. And how long will it go if you wind it? <laughs> Bloody hard. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now let's see what else we've got that you can't afford. Even I can't afford that. We have this, this very nice leather chair. Would you like to try it sitting? Sit in the well, tell me, uh, how does it feel? Darling, who's your friend? Come on. Don't see <laughs> and what else have we got? Yes, we've got this very charming 27 piece. <laughs> Fifty-seven piece <laughs> T 
tea set, which also you can't afford. I'm afraid you only have 20 pounds. And what do we have? We only have one thing that you can afford, and it's this very handy spare room uh, toiletry set. There is the basin. You can hand that along. And there is the jug. Angela will hold it for you. <laughs> and, of course, it wouldn't be complete without that, would it? <laughs> Would you like to have a look inside? It's all lovely and shiny. <laughs> Would you, um, would you like to try it for size? <laughs> Go on. You see, a perfect fit. It's a bloody convulsion. Go on. And here are Linda and Angela to congratulate you. Good night. Get out of it. <laughs>